Okay, fire away. So this is the Buddhist Church of Santa Barbara. Has anyone here ever been to the Buddhist Church of Santa Barbara? Yes? Oh, quite a few people. Very good, very good. We're over on East Montecito Street, 1015 East Montecito Street. And uh, we have been at this location since 1966. Prior to that, we were located in uh, Canon Perdido um, in the old Presidio since uh, 1922. Uh, so we celebrate our 90th anniversary last year. Um, this is a typical uh, view at a service at the Buddhist Church of Santa Barbara. Um, that's um, me, I guess, uh, leading the service. And um, this is uh, some of our regular members. Those of you who've been to services might uh, recognize some of these uh, faces. And um, this is a pretty typical uh, shot of one of our gatherings uh, in the midst of a Buddhist service. So. The, of course, the heart and soul of the Buddhist Church of Santa Barbara is religious activities. We also have uh, study classes once a month. So this is a photograph taken at one of our study classes. And this is a pretty, uh, once again, a typical gathering for the study class. So we have people um, of all ages, all uh, genders, ethnicities. Um, and I lead those study classes. Uh, the social side of the temple is very important. Uh, so after the services or study classes, we generally will gather and enjoy some tea and conversation um, and you know, just catch up with each other's company. Uh, for many of our members who are Japanese speaking, it's an opportunity for them to gather with their uh, fellow Japanese uh, speaking friends and catch up on news. The temple, uh, I'm the only kind of part-time employee, so it's primarily uh, run by volunteers. And you can see these are the, all of the volunteer members doing the cleaning and the maintenance of the grounds and the temple landscape itself. So uh, if you've been to the temple, you notice it's a beautiful grounds, beautiful gardens, um, and it's all maintained by the members. Uh, and they uh, work very hard and really keep it, um, keep it looking nice and try to create a welcoming environment. We also have family activities at the temple, um, such as this is mochitsuki. Uh, mochi is a Japanese kind of pounded uh, rice treat that's made at the New Year time. Those of you who've spent time in Japan uh, probably had a chance to enjoy mochi. And these sort of um, kind of uh, fun seasonal cultural activities are one of the things that keep the uh, younger members involved in the temple. You'd notice in the photograph of the services, it tended to be more elderly members. Um, here we have a nice gathering of some children and young families. And um, with kind of that in mind, we're trying to, we're planning this year to bring back our annual Obon celebration. Um, this is, the, f the following photographs are from the uh, Oxnard Buddhist Temple Obon, and the reason I have Oxnard photos is because we haven't had uh, an Obon celebration in Santa Barbara in many years, and so uh, we're going to try to bring back, um, borrowing some of the power of the, the Oxnard members, and this is the Oxnard Taiko group, and bring back the annual uh, Obon celebration. And this year we'll be celebrating Obon in Santa Barbara on July 20th. Um, we'll have uh, services, we'll have uh, taiko drumming. This uh, taiko group is going to come and play the drums. We'll have some other cultural performances. But the real main uh, aspect of Obon is the uh, dancing. And the, um, the practice of Obon dancing is a little different than uh, general kinds of dancing because obon dancing is to tend, intended to be participatory and not a performance. So you can see in the following slides you have people, once again, all ages, uh, men, women, uh, children, all kinds of people coming together and dancing. And some of the people have been practicing for months leading up to obon, and other people just show up on the day uh, ready to dance and have a good time. And the, the spirit of Obon dancing is not to think about one's own uh, skillfulness, whether one is doing really well, right on time, or clumsy. Uh, it's not a time to be self-conscious or proud. Rather, it's a time to set aside 
all of one's own uh, sense of one's own ego, well, I'm good, I'm bad, all of that in true Buddhist fashion is just set to the side and uh, the spirit of dancing is just to uh, enjoy the dance. That's my wife and my son, by the way. Um, and so uh, I'm coming to the end of my slides and in conclusion, I'd like to read a poem that I feel captures the spirit of Obon dancing and may perhaps inspire you to come out and dance with us. I'm going to read it in the uh, English translation followed by the original Japanese. Those who dance are fools, and those who watch are fools. If you're a fool either way, you might as well dance. Odoru aho ni, miru aho, onaji aho nara. So I encourage you to come on out and uh, join us. Once again, it's July 20th, and we were going to start dancing around 3 o'clock. So I hope you'll uh, be able to come out and dance with us. And I think there's a couple more slides, so I invite you to uh, enjoy, um, enjoy the view. Thank you.